Okay, I think we'll I think we'll get started um, there for this evening. Um, welcome back, everybody, um, to your second um, transition evening uh, for this year. Um, obviously, you've got the big one next next week. This time next week, but um, we've just we have a, quite a bit to um, a, quite a few people for you to meet this evening. Um, so you are going to hear first of all from um, two year, current year seven students on their uh, experience in the Priory so far, um, and I think you'll find that they they do present really uh, really well. So we've got that to look forward to. You'll also get to meet the tutors. Um, so we've got the five tutors here this evening. Uh, you won't know which is uh, which tutor is yours until the actual induction day, which is, like I said, next Tuesday. But you will get to hear um, a bit about the, each of the different tutors, what sort of things they like to do, what they teach, how long they've been here, different things like that. All information that I'm sure you're you're desperate to um, desperate to hear. I'm going to start the evening off with um, hearing from the the current year seven students. So we've got Lucy Franklin and Barney uh, Barney Hill. Um, so we'll start with with Lucy. So Lucy, if you are ready to go, then Miss w Miss Brandish will unmute you. Oh good. Um, well done, Lucy. My experience as a Priory student. My first month. I don't really remember too much of my first few days because so much has happened since then. I was very fortunate because the majority of my friends from primary were here too, so I wasn't alone. I remember meeting one of my closest friends through Ultimate Frisbee and staying with her through the residential trip. I also had my sister. She helped a lot with memorising classrooms and timetables. One very important note I learned was not being afraid to talk to new people, so that's where you could find shared emotions, fears, or maybe even a friend. The classroom switched rooms quite a few times, but it's quite rare. Another tip I learned was to always bring a spare pen in case one of your friends need one. Halfway through. It was around this time that I'd earned lots of house points and friends that I want to keep throughout my time here. I knew my timetable from heart and had lots of friends. I also made good impressions on a lot of teachers, which is very helpful if you're ever caught talking. There's no standout moments for me at this time. However, I did make a friend group I never want to lose. Present day. This year has flown by and have accomplished so many goals. I've received my silver, bronze and gold badge for house points, which my parents are very proud of. I've, made, I've also made lifelong friends from people I met nine months ago and magically became decent at drawing. Overall, the Priory is a great school and helped a lot with my art and writing. Thank you. Thank you ever so much, Lucy. That was that was brilliant. Um, can I just ask you a couple of questions on on how how the um, how you felt on the induction day and during the induction process? Yeah. Last um, year, how did you I feel? Really, I was really scared on my first induction day, but like I did say, I did have. A, lots of friends from primary school and my teacher but um Hello. A lot, everyone was very helpful because um they would tell you where you needed to go and like where you can meet people and everything like that so it was scary but you get over it yeah, yeah. and was it was it okay because everyone was in the same uh position yeah and there was a few of my friends that I'm friends with now inside. that didn't have anyone from their primary school. Inside, so please. I can imagine how they were feeling because I felt scared. I couldn't really feel. Yeah, and it's not um, it's not unusual, is it, to have people come in oh, coming no. on their own, and it's it's quite quite um, comforting to to know that you so, soon make friends. Thank you ever so much, Lucy. You are an absolute star. Thank you. If you could pop yourself back on. You, Perfect. Well done. OK, and the, our next student, if we have, um, um, if we've got Barney, uh, there are a few people that are unmuting. If you cannot unmute, that would be really, uh, really helpful. Um, 
just need to locate Barney. <coughs> Hello. We we just um I think Barney's just uh, just coming in now, Lucy. So oh. thank you. Okay. I meet myself. Brilliant. Hello. Okay, Barney, I've just sent you a message to um, an Hello. Mute. iPhone 8. Can we stop saying hello when we're trying to um, have other people in? That would be really helpful. Thank you. Hiya, Barney. Hi. You okay? Yeah. Excellent, excellent. You look raring to go on this. Yeah. Brilliant. There you go. Hello and welcome all. The Priory is a really good school for me because on my first day I was really nervous. And then in a couple of days I knew where everything was and if I didn't know I'd ask a member of staff and they would tell me. I've made lots of new friends at the Priory. And don't worry if you don't have anyone, it's okay because you'll find your tribe. Also, the teachers are really friendly and supportive of you. There are lots of clubs that you can do as well that are really fun for everybody to enjoy. I remember my first trip of mine. It was really fun, but I was worried about it. And I enjoyed it so much with all my friends. It was the, it was the best time I had. There were lots of things to do to help make friends. My first year of the Priory has flown so fast, I can't believe it. And throughout the year, I've had the best time. Thank you. That was excellent, Barney. Well done. What's been the highlight of your year? Probably the trip. The residential? Yeah. It was good fun, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Good, good fun. Brilliant. And is there anything, any advice that you can give to the current um, year six is going to join us in year seven? On, um, on joining the, the Priory and how, how to, um, just in case they're a bit nervous. Have you got any advice? Um, always try and talk to people because then you'll be able to make friends and then you'll be able to hang out with them. Um, and just try and, yeah, have fun. Have lots of fun there. Fabulous. So. Wise words, Barney, wise words. Thank you ever so much for that. And thank you... Um, pair of you both Barney and Lucy for all the time and effort you've put in especially like the last two weeks practicing every tutor time so I appreciate that you've done really well well done Thanks. Barney if I could ask you to to mute yourself again yeah that'd be great excellent okay so um we're moving on to meet the uh, to meet your tutors we're going to start with Mr Mitchell Okay, so Mr. Mitchell is going to introduce himself, to talk to you a little bit about himself, and um, then we'll move on to um, um, Mrs. Brundish and then Mr. Harrison, Mrs. Bradley, and then Miss Parkins. Lovely. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Mr. Mitchell. I'm going to be one of your form tutors, one of you lucky lot are going to have me. Um, so I am a Spanish and French teacher here at the Priory. And what I want to actually say is that, like you, this is also my first time being at this school as well. So kind of we're going to be going on that journey together. So I'm really looking forward to kind of feeling some of the emotions that you're going to be feeling as well. And we're going to work together. And we're by the end of the year, 
we're going to feel like we've just heard from the other students. We're going to feel absolutely amazing. He's a teacher. Look, come here. He's the new teacher. One of the new teachers. Ben. And then, um, so just a little, little bit about me. Now, I'm not the best sports fan, but one of my favourite things in the world is I absolutely love Formula One driving. So if you ever talk to me about that, if you see me in the corridor on the playground, that's something I really love to talk about. So if you, if you know anything about that, please tell me about it. And I'm a very outdoorsy person, so I really love it when we can go out and do things in the garden, when we're outside doing sporting activities or when we do our residential trips. So you'll often find me somewhere outside. So if you ever want to come and find me, that's probably where I'm going to be. Excellent. Thank you very much, Mr. Mitchell. Um, which which school are you are you coming from? So currently I am a year seven shooter at the uh, St. Bede School over in Red Hill. So I'm, I'm very experienced with year seven. So don't worry, you're in very capable hands. I've <laughs> seen my year sevens through and they, they're absolutely loving it now. But um, now I'm coming to you and hopefully I can make you feel the same way about school. Excellent. Thank you. And do you have any any advice for the year sevens? But seeing as you're you're in a similar sort of position. 100%. I think one of my advice would be definitely be very open minded and make sure we're talking to lots of different people. You know, not just the people that you're in the tutor groups with. Make sure you're talking to people from other classes and maybe if you have friends in the older year groups, just make sure we're having those conversations and then we feel really part of a, of a group here. So. That would be what your first step would be to try to talk to one person to start with and then just keep expanding, keep talking to as many people as you can. Brilliant. Excellent advice. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mitchell. OK, moving on to Mrs. Brandish. Hello, everyone. Um, so I have been at Quarry for seven years now. So I have been with two different tutor groups, but my last tutor group I saw all the way through from year seven through to year 11. Um, I've got a fancy title. My job title is the Head of Creative Technology. And um, that means that I look after all of BT, food, computing and art. So we've got all the fun subjects. So that's what I do. Um, I'm also quite outdoorsy um, and I also like Formula One. So um, at the school here, uh, many of you will have seen our Green Power team. And I am, uh, along with Mr Hadler, the joint principals of that team. So um, you as year sevens will get the opportunity to join the team, um, but not until October. So please don't keep asking me in September, when am I going to join the Green Power team? We'll do all of that in October because that's where the uh, season runs. But we do lots of other fun stuff in DT as well. And we're going to keep improving our um, extracurricular activities. We've got a Warhammer club that goes on, uh, on Wednesdays. We've got all sorts of other bits and pieces as well. So I hope to see you getting involved and making the most of your creative side. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Brundish. And I'm going to ask you exactly the same question. What, what advice could you give to the current year sevens if they're feeling a little bit nervous about joining in September? Uh, I would definitely say everything will be okay. Don't worry. Um, because there are enough people around who are going to support you. Uh, we're all here, every single member of staff, every single member of the school community. So there's lots and lots of support. You really don't need to worry. But if you are worried, then make sure you don't keep that worry to yourself and come and talk to an adult. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Um, OK, and now we are moving on to Mr Harrison. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this evening. Um, as Miss Roach has said, my name is Mr. Harrison, and I'm going to put it out there that I am the original and not the fake. And I say that because those of you that know, um, there are two Mr. Harrisons in school. Um, we share the same first name, and we teach in the same department. So it does get a little, little confusing at times, um, but I was here first, so I am the original. Um, so... I say I've been here first. I've been teaching, unfortunately, over 25 years. And I have spent 23 of those years at the Priory School. So that kind of tells you what I think about this school and the fact that I've stayed here for so long because I feel that the staff, the community, the students are worth staying around for because they are amazing. Um, I have taught in a variety of schools previously, um, including overseas in Q8. 
Um, but as I said, I've spent the last 23 years here at the Priory. 22 of those years I've spent as a head of year. Um, so I'm kind of taking a bit of a step back from the pastoral role and going back to being a form tutor, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, previously, I have been head of year, head of upper school, and even acting assistant head. So plenty of opportunities, all within a pastoral remit. Um, so I originally am from the north, a great town called Manchester. And I do have the unfortunate pleasure of supporting that team called Manchester United. Um, we've somehow managed to avoid relegation, but we'll see how next year goes. Um, I love playing sports. I used to play a lot of sports when I was a little bit younger, um, particularly racket sports. Um, so I love all kinds of sports, um, mm -hmm. particularly badminton. And I used to play volleyball, badminton and tennis myself. Um, I love animals. Um, so again, um, feel free to come talk to me about animals. I particularly love dogs. And um, talking sort of zoo animals, I love the big cats and elephants. Um, so those are my favourites. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to taking on a Year 7 tutor group again. It's been a while since I've been a tutor. Um, but as I say, I have been a pastoral lead for quite a number of years now. So I'm looking forward to going back to being a tutor. Thank you very much, Mr. Harrison. I didn't realise you taught you'd been teaching for that length of time. You don't look old enough. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> yes, yeah, it doesn't seem that long, but yeah, it's been a while. And is there um, are there any pearls of wisdom as you you are the uh, the pastoral king, really, <laughs> with all your your roles that you've done? Have you got any pearls of wisdom for for the new I'm year seven? I'd agree with what's been said previously um, in terms of keep talking to people. If you feel nervous about something, don't bottle it up. Speak to somebody, whether that's a friend, your form tutor, your head of year, or just any member of staff. They're always willing to listen. And you'll find that the students in school are willing to support. So they will. If you ask them, they are happy to help you find your way around um, and point you in the right direction if you've got a problem and need help. Um, dealing with that um, but also it is a big change going from primary school to secondary school um, so one of the things I would say is um, organization a little bit of organization keeping track of your timetable where you need to go because you are the one that's moving around the school not the teachers so it's just a little bit of things of getting used to the different way of working but it will happen quickly Thank you. Very wise, very wise words. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, Mrs. Bradley, if we could have you up next, that'd be great. Hello, everybody. Hi, I just wanted to introduce myself. Like I said, I am Mrs. Bradley, and I'm also going to be new to Priory School in September. So I'm going into my third year of teaching. I currently am at a sixth form college, so I'm teaching a little bit older students at the minute, but I've also worked in nurseries and I've worked in hospitals. So I've done all age ranges, working with young children and working with adults. Um, so I'm really excited to start my secondary school journey. So we'll be in it together in year seven and really looking forward to being a tutor of year seven. I've been helping year 13s with their university applications recently. So they've been nervous about their next transition. So I'm really looking forward to supporting you guys thinking about moving to secondary school. So yeah, I'm a health and social care teacher and a sociology teacher. So I am, um, yeah, will be excited to be teaching you in those subjects. So thinking about maybe when we're in our GCSE um, year. Um, I really enjoy swimming. I do a lot of that out of school time and enjoy cooking lots of new recipes for my friends and family. And I also support Crystal Palace football team as a result of my husband. So I know what's going on there all of the, the time. But yeah, I'm really excited to start this journey with you guys as well. That's lovely. Thank you, Miss Bradley. That's really, really good. Um, what would you say is the thing that's um, that um, 
worried, I suppose, or um, the the sixth formers going to uh, going to college. Is it is there a big difference between the, the worries in lower down school and an upper school? So I think it's always scary thinking about when you're really used to an environment, isn't it? You get really confident in where you are right now, and a change is always a little bit daunting. But again, I just think about getting involved in the community. So thinking about if there's any new clubs to join, that's mm. always what we encourage our students um, to get involved, to maybe meet some new people, put yourself out there a little bit, because everybody's new somewhere once. And I'm going to be new at Priory and we're going to be in it together. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. Thank you, Mrs Bradley. <laughs> and last but by no means least... Um, Miss Parkins. Hi everyone. Uh, so I'm Miss Parkins. I teach English. I'm an English teacher at the Priory. I have been here for three years now, so I'll be going into my fourth year by the time that you arrive in September. Um, I have never had a year seven tutor. I've only uh, I took over my last tutor group in year nine. So you are my first year seven year sevens, and I'm really excited about that. Um, I love uh, being able to teach year sevens. Um, you're all new and fresh and eager, so very excited about teaching, uh, taking you through your secondary school uh, experience. Uh, it will come as no surprise being an English teacher that I enjoy reading. Um, some of my favourite books include The Hunger Games, Harry Potter, uh, the Shadowhunter Chronicles uh, series, just to name a few. Um, I have a whole wall of, of books at home, so I'm very obsessive about my reading. Um, but I also enjoy writing. I am writing a book. I enjoy writing some poetry. Um, so I also really like doing that. Um, I have a, a love of animals as well. I have a dog, a black Labrador called Jasper at home who has a personality of his own. Um, so I enjoy taking him out for walks as well, getting out in the sun. Um, I am also from a very football fan family. We support a variety of different football teams in my house, uh, but I support uh, Leicester City and also kind of Arsenal because I grew up saying I supported them because my brother supports them. So kind of support both of those teams. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything about me. And uh, like I said, I'm very excited to have you in September, whoever gets to be in my choose group. That's lovely. That's lovely. What, what are you going to say to your tutor group on the first day, Miss Parkins? um well first things first um make sure that you come to if you have any problems um i am more than happy to assist to help the whole point of a tutor in my opinion is to be that kind of first port of call um obviously if you're struggling obviously in the sense of you don't know where to go what to do or even just struggling in lessons you, you're not understanding things make sure you ask we can't teachers and students can't help if you don't ask i know it's very daunting I get very anxious myself when I'm starting new things. Um, I can I can still remember the day when I joined the Priory that um, three years ago. It's an it's a nerve wracking experience, but you can't you can't move forward if you don't ask for help. And we're all very friendly, so we're more than happy to help. Fabulous, excellent. Thank you, Miss Parker. That was brilliant. So um, now you have met. Uh, now you have met all the tutors, so you're not going to find out, like I said, until um, next Tuesday, um, which tutor group you will be in, and therefore which which tutor is your uh, is the one that you will have. But I'm sure, as you can see from the um, from what we've heard from all five tutors, whichever tutor you get, you're you are onto a winner because they're all um, they're all brilliant and they're all very uh, considerate and caring as well. So that's exactly what's needed, um, and you will do well with them. I'm going to answer a couple of questions or uh, quite a few questions that had come into the chat um, last week. And by all means, if you have any additional questions then please put them in the chat and we will try and address them or we will address them next week at the um, at the induction evening or induction day proper. OK, so in the evening when we're when we're face to face. So um, we will be able to answer any of your questions there. So by all means, Phil, uh, please put anything in the chat and we will um, we will address that for next week. 
I'm going to go through, like I said, the, the questions that were put in the chat from last week. Okay, so is there a specific school gym bag or can it be any bag? So it can be any bag. We have students that come in with like um, those plastic drawstring bags and things like that um, to, to, for their gym uh, gym bag. As long as it's um, as long as it's sturdy, um, then that is absolutely fine. Um, okay so you don't need to worry um what type of bag you have got it doesn't need to have a logo on it or anything like that so on the induction day we got another question about what to wear so on the induction day next week so you wear your current school uniform okay so the school uniform that you wear every day to go to school um in your primary schools all right so um, it's not own clothes um, and it's not not your, you know, the, the uniform that you will wear when you come to Priory if you've got that already. Uh, there is a question about um, pre-loved uniforms. OK, so you will be able to get um, there will be the, the kit shop and we will have secondhand uniform um, at the induction evening next week. OK, so if you did want to uh, want to buy it because we've got a lot of um, a lot of secondhand uniform that is really in, in brilliant condition. And it really has been pre-loved um, as opposed to um, um, pre-owned as such. So there'll be ample opportunity next week to do that. So if you remember last week, we went through the, the timetable. Um, so we've got a question about the different lessons. So you will find out all the different lessons. You showed excellent skills on trying to decipher or crack the code for the lessons that are on the um, on the timetables. Um, so you, you managed to do that really, really well. Um, there, you will have five lessons in a day. So five lessons in a day, along with tutor time. OK, so you will have your lessons will be an hour long. And your tutor time will be 20, 25 minutes. OK, so those are um, th those would be the lessons that you will have. OK, an hour might seem might seem a long time, but the lessons I guarantee you the lessons are so great that the, the time will pass, will fly. <laughs> So another one, another question that we have got is, do we um, do you need red pens? You can you can by all means have red pens. You don't need red pens for um, correcting um, because obviously you will be using your green pens that you all of you so rightly responded to why we have green pens. So those would be for your um, your markings and your peer assessments and things like that. Um, if you and obviously you're writing in blue or black ink for any other information if you are writing if you want to have like in our so in our glossaries we have keywords and then the def definition if you wanted to write the definition in a different color um then by all means um a red pen will do for sometimes when um uh, when you have because I'm like Mr. Mitchell, I'm a, a languages teacher um, or an art teacher. And then when you have languages, it, sometimes they write the, the French or the Spanish in one color and then the English in another color. So there's there's use for a red pen if you want it. But predominantly you will be using blue or black and then green pens for your um, for your markings. So the next one, a very important one, I think we did touch on this um, last week, but just to reiterate that um, phones are not meant to be uh, switched on in school. If you have your phone, it needs to be in your bag and not in your pockets or anything like that. If you need to see the time, then you can ask a member of staff or most classrooms have a, have a, a clock up on the wall anyway. Um, so you won't necessarily need to have your phone to look at the time. Um, if you need to phone, um, if you need to get in contact with your with your parents um, or you're worried about something and you want to you, you think that you need to talk to them, then go to reception at lunch or break time and they will be able to uh, they will be able to contact your parents if you need if need be. 
So phones are not needed during uh, during the school day. So another question is, I think this worry of, of not being able to find your way around um, is quite common and we have it every every year. So um, the location of your classrooms for the first two weeks, you will have an LSA with you. OK, and they will take you to the um, take you to all your lessons. Now, we're doing it for the first two weeks, because if you remember, we said last week you have a two week timetable. So that covers that covers a full uh, fortnight of lessons so that you have got someone that will that will take you to each lesson every day. OK, once the LSAs are no longer no longer showing you um, showing you to your lessons, then you I would encourage you to ask a member of staff or ask an older student as well, because we the, our student, our community is really helpful. Um, and the, the year sevens are always, always superstars and people always want to help you. OK, so there's that option as well. If you're not sure where things where places are, you the door numbers are on the front of every door as well so it will it will be the same room number that's on on your timetable will be then on the front of the the classroom door so you will know that you're that you're in the right place but before you get to that door if you are lost or you're not sure where to go please do ask someone okay the information about the residential trip that is going to be put on the website again okay so sorry put on the website so that information will go up um in in due course the um dates for the um for the residential are from the 2nd to the 4th of october so it's over um three nights okay so there are places still available um, for you to for you to actually um, request a, a place on there. So there are places still available. Um, the students that don't go on the residential for, for one reason or another, they will remain in school and they will have collapsed lessons. So the less, so you'll be um, in in groups with other students. So the lessons will go on. So if you want to have um, if you want to go on the residential then then um please 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 do apply for it and there will be um, more information on the website for that okay um and regarding the makeup situation again this, this is a question that we that we do get um that we do get quite regularly um, and it always always surprises me because I was never particularly into makeup until I got a little bit older. Um, but makeup, it should look natural is, is basically it. So we don't want false eyelashes. We don't want um, you know, fake tan, um, things like that. We don't. It, it's basically it should look natural, um, so natural looking makeup. OK, a few more questions. We've just got a few more and then um, then we will uh, let you let you go. Um, so we've got another question. We've got quite a few questions around about lunch um, and what to do for lunch. So um, you will eat in the canteen. OK, if it is um, if there are picnic tables outside if the weather's if the weather's good. But basically, the food needs to remain in the, in the areas that are dedicated for eating. OK, so you can't go wandering through the corridors or into into classrooms unless a teacher has given you permission to, to eat food in their classroom. Um, they need, it needs to be confined to the to the canteen. And that's largely because um, you know, if we it's, the whole school smells of smells of canteen food which isn't always what what you want and um there's not um you know sort of increases the opportunity to to put drop litter and things like that and we don't particularly want to have uh, be encouraging all the seagulls and things to come down and eat any dropped food on the playground all right so um, that's one of the main reasons why we actually um, like to contain eating in the food in the eating areas. 
you can bring your own lunch okay so if you wanted to bring your own lunch that's absolutely fine if you wanted to buy the lunch you will need your parents and carers will need to put the money onto scopay um and that will be uploaded onto your um onto a, a fob that you will use to um, access um, to be able to pay for your your food if you do buy any food in the canteen um, at any given time. But by all means, you can bring your own lunch, and some people uh, do do prefer that to school dinners. So um, so yeah, that's absolutely your choice. So, is there anywhere to uh, store bags and books? Yes, there is. If you go to if you have yourself a locker then your, uh, your books and your, um, your, um, your bags and your books, so your kit and things like that can actually be stored in your locker. So you don't need to carry them around, uh, carry all your books around with you every day. Um, but I would, my, my advice would probably be to carry the books that you have in the, for periods one and two before break, then change them at break, carry the books that you need for three and four and then change those at lunchtime for the book you need at five. So it's probably not going to not going to be that that helpful carrying all your books around every day because you're going to be absolutely absolutely aching all over. But 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 please keep your books. Um, if your books need to go home, that's fine. But my advice to you would be to um, spread out when you need uh, the books when you carry the books for depending on what lesson you have. Um, where would I find a list of lunchtime clubs? So you've got that on the uh, school website. So um, and Mrs. Uh, Brandish mentioned about the Warhammer Club um, earlier on in when she was talking to you. So the, you'll find on the website a whole array of different clubs that are available, lots of sports clubs, lots of music clubs. Uh, we've got the Young, Young Carers Club as well, support group. So there's a lot of different, um, a lot of different things going on at different, at given times, at lunch times, and there are some clubs that you can do after school as well if you so wish. Um, any sports clubs will also be um, advertised around by the PE department as well, okay? And any fixtures and things like that will be will be up there for you to to look at. And couple on homework, um, couple on homework. So what do I do if I can't do the homework? If, you, if you're struggling with the homework, the task of the homework, ask the, um, ask the teacher who has set it. Don't leave it for the morning of the day that your homework is due to be handed in, um, but ask well in advance so that you can, so that any advice that they give you can be given and you will be able to complete the homework. If you're too um, too worried to ask the teacher directly, then um, email them. We're more than happy to to accept the email. So if you've got queries, I'm I'm quite I quite like receiving emails from from students when they like, want when they want to talk to me, but a bit sort of bit um, nervous about coming coming to find me. Um, so please make sure that you find out. Um, any details from the teacher because they'll be the best place person to um, to ask. All your parents or carers can can email the the teachers as well. One last thing, um, and this has come from one of the um, the parents, um, is that uh, well, there's a, a couple actually that that will be uh, that come from the parents is just are you are parents a parents or carers able to see uh, the um the timetable and are they able to see homework yes on both counts okay so you will have the edulink um, um app that will show you what you have got for um in your timetables um and uh, parents and carers will also be able to access that all the details of that will be given within your first week and i think passwords and things are in your first it lesson the same goes for um for homework as well so parents um, and carers can see all of the homework that is due and the due dates as well so um, if you didn't want to ask the teacher or didn't want to email the teacher then my advice would be to ask someone at home to email in and to get that information for you <clears throat> and that's my final question so we will leave the chat open for the for the next 
sort of five, four or five minutes to, um, <coughs> excuse me, to um, add any questions if you wanted to. Um, we look forward to seeing you next uh, next week in person. Um, it's going to be really exciting. We've got a lovely day planned with a timetable and um, some nice activities for you all to take part in. Okay, so um, if you, like I say, you want to leave some comments in the chat, please do. Otherwise, thank you ever so much. And thank you, Barney and Lucy and tutors as, as well for um, actually taking the time to to plan something to to say and, uh, and for presenting it so so well so thank you ever so much i appreciate that okay so you're, you're free to leave if you if you wish